Hi, Aaron Ajalski with Triple Painting. Here we are in Ann Arbor, uh, where we've got this home that has some um, peeling paint. They'd like that get that taken care of, uh, and then we're going to repaint the whole house. Uh, unfortunately, the home was built in 1933, so we have the potential for some lead uh, that could potentially be in the paint. So we got to take care of some protective measures before we get started with the scraping. Okay, so now that we got our uh, PPE on, we've got our plastic down to collect the paint chips. Uh, we're ready to start scraping on some of this uh, peeling paint here. So you want to get all the loose paint off. You can see it's going quite pretty far here. Um, it's important you get it all off, but it's also important that you don't gouge into the wood because um, you'll leave big dents and things in the wood. Uh, but you want to try to keep that smoothness as much as possible. So this, as you can tell, is quite extensive. Um, it's going to take quite a while to get all the loose paint off here. It's going to be real important we make sure we get all of it off. Um, there's some spots over here you can see where it's actually, there's a little bubble there. If we don't make sure we get all these off when we repaint, this will pop and peel in less than a year. So um, just real important we make sure we get this all off. Uh, and then once we get it all off, we can go through and start priming and painting. Um, it's very time consuming. We're probably gonna spend, uh, I've got a crew of four guys, it's probably gonna take us at least two, three days to get all the loose paint off this whole house. Um, you know, and if you, if you don't have the eye, you may not notice some of the things like these bubbles. Uh, most people wouldn't know to make sure to get rid of these bubbles. Um, you know, I just can, just by looking at this can tell that that paint has, has the bond has popped underneath and it needs to be removed. So, um, but a lot of people wouldn't know that just by looking at it. A flat blade, there is, there are different scraping tools. Uh, this is a five-in-one. Um, this is the primary go-to scraping tool that most people will use. There are carbides and other types of scraping depending on what surface you're scraping and what kind of peeling you have going on. Sometimes when you have checking, like you have here, if you have a lot of this, a carbide was, is better for that. Um, but your, your average scraping like this, just a five-in-one is, is perfect. You, you want to make sure you get all the loose paint off. Um, if you can hit an edge a couple times, it doesn't pop, you're good, keep going. You don't need to make sure you get all the paint off, but you do need to make sure you get all the loose paint that's ready to come off. Um, you know, so an edge like that, a couple times, a couple passes, it's not popping off, don't force it. There's no need to, because you'll gouge into the wood if you try, and then you just move on and keep removing and probing for loose paint in, the, in these areas, like this here. You just keep working your way down the board, going over those edges. Sometimes if you want, you, uh, you want to hit it from a couple different angles just to make sure there's not a, another, like right there, loose uh, corner or edge. And that spot's scraped and we moved on to the rest of the board. That's, it, huh? that's, all that's, that's pretty much it, just like that. All the way around the house. All the way around every board, top to bottom. So once you get this all scraped down, you, you're sure you got all the loose paint off. Um, you can, uh, if you have a two-in-one product, some of the paints are two-in-one primer paint. One you can apply that, um, or uh, if you, if it's not the product you're using is not, you'll apply a primer to this. Uh, to seal up this wood so that the, the paint you're using can bond to it. Okay. Yes, yes, it is. It does look fairly simple, but there's lots of little things uh, you got to look for 
and uh, things that you, you just uh, takes time to learn. Uh, quicker and easier? There isn't. There is, there is no trick to quicker and easier. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really just having the eye to know when you know, you're looking at a board and saying, okay, this, this board's solid, I don't need to scrape that. Oh, but there's a bubble here. Let me get that off. Um, and that's something that realistically comes with experience um, from doing it, not something that you can just learn overnight. Yeah.